सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दी अप सॉल्विंग सेशन ऑफ कोड प्रोसेस राउंड नाइन जीरो सिक्स डे ओ टू टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द फर्स्ट थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स फर्स्ट थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम विल बी सॉल्व टूमारो फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम्स वीडियो विल बी अपलोडेड बाई टूमारो टूडे आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व द फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम एंड आई विल मेक श्योर दैट आई शुड सॉल्व इट बाई टूमारो एंड देन अपलोड द सेशन रिगार्डिंग इट बट एज ऑफ नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम Uh, so you can pause the video. The problem link is in, given in the description. So you can pause the video and think for the problem. But uh, just read the problem once. I will count to five. One, two, three, four, and five. So yeah, I hope you would have read the problem. Now the problem is very simple. I will try to explain the problem on whiteboard. So let's just take an array. What is the problem saying? Uh, let's take this array. so yeah see the problem is saying that the sum of every two numbers should be equal what is the sum of first two numbers it's 5 what is the sum of next two numbers it's 6 are they equal no so that's what has been asked in the problem that uh, you need to find such permutation of the given array such that it should be possible Now uh, in this case it's not possible. Let's assume in any other case where it might be possible. So yeah, one one two one one two is an example. Let's take the example of one one two. See initially one one. What is the sum two? And then one two. What is the sum three? Are the sum equal? No. But can we have some permutation? Can we rearrange the elements so that it uh, the condition should be satisfied? So let us try. Maybe write down one two and one. So now what is the sum of first two elements? It's three. What is the sum of next two elements? It's again three. So yeah, they are equal. So we can con conclude that yeah, this is possible. It is possible to rearrange the elements to get such permutation, which will have uh, all the sum of uh, consecutive two elements as equal. So this is the question. Uh, you can think for an approach. I will again count to five. Meanwhile, you can think for an approach. What could you do in the problem? Then I will start with my approach. What is my approach towards the problem? So yeah, one, two. Three, four, and five. So yes, see what will be the my what is my approach towards the problem is what I will do is simply I will see first of all when it is possible to make the sum equal when you will have when you are at particular index you are having same element at left and same element element at right. <coughs> Correct because is it possible? that at left it is a different element and right it is different element and you are still having the same sum no it's not possible because if you will have any number except one here maybe 2 3 minus 1 0 anything it will give you a different sum because obviously two numbers only two numbers can have the same sum so what uh, we need to check is we need to check first of all suppose there are more elements like this maybe there is another 2 then there is a 3 then 1 so first we will check here we need both the numbers equal so we are having one one right here it is one all both the numbers 2 and 2 are equal okay then here is 2 then 1 and 3 are not equal so it means this is a wrong statement so what we can as you pre assume from it that c if you want to have same elements on both side it means you can have at most two elements in an array two different elements in an array suppose there is an extra 3 you cannot fit 3 anywhere if you will try to fit 3 here it will not be possible because one is having one neighbor as 2 and another neighbor as 3 which is contradicting if you will try to fit in between somewhere again two is having one as neighbor on one side and three as neighbor on the other side so it will contradict if you will try to put it in starting again one is having a neighbor of 2 on right side while on left it is having a neighbor of 1 so three will never fit here so we can conclude that we need to have at most two elements in our array so what we can do is we can make a frequency map and we can check how many different numbers are possible in our particular array if it is more than 2 what we can do is we have created a frequency map right we have created a frequency map and if size of map is greater than 2 so we can conclude that answer will be false answer will be no obviously but what if the size is 2 suppose the size of map is 1 only one particular element is present so obviously it is a good array because anyways we will always get the sum equal that is like obvious thing because on left and right you will always have the same element 
but what if there are the size of map is 2 see here in this case the size of map is 2 so is it possible to make uh, a good array that will have the consecutive sum as same no it's not possible why because just see here you put in you have put a 2 here so here it is valid but now here there is a for, for this one there is 2 on left side and there is 1 on right side so it means it is not possible so what you need to do is you need to make sure there are enough number of 2 that can fit in between every one yeah right so you need to just check or you can say there are enough number of ones that can surround 2 and it could be vice versa it could be like this that there are more number of 2's and less number of 1's but you will realize that it is always the case either the number of 2's and 1's should be same or a one particular number can be more than the other by only 1 if it is more than 2 then it's it won't be possible you won't be able to fit the last 2 anywhere in the array so either frequency of both elements should be same or they should differ by only one they should differ by one only so if all these cases are uh, valid then only we will say that the answer is yes otherwise the answer will be no so yeah this was about the problem i hope you would have understood the problem now i will try to code the problem in cpp uh, you can try the same in java so first of all uh, we are taking the uh, number then the array and as i mentioned we need to create the frequency map right so first let's take the array as input now we will take the frequency map so let name it as frequency then we will iterate in the array and we will just increase the frequency of each element by one now at the end we will check if frequency dot size that is the uh, map which is having a frequency of two it's greater than two so it's obviously no and we will simply return if it is frequency dot size is one then it uh, will always be yes so we will simply say print yes and then we will return what if now the frequency can only be two right so what we will do we will just take out both the elements in a vector so for auto i hm we actually don't need the elements we need the frequency of the elements so we will put answer dot push back i dot second because instead of pushing pushing the elements itself we need to push their frequencies so yeah it is now the answer and now what we need to check is if the difference between ans both the frequencies is less than equal to one it means either they are same or there is a difference of only one then we will print out yes that they are valid and we will return else they are not valid so i guess i have covered all the cases in the example while explaining uh, so i don't need to explain that again it was pretty simple code i don't know whether it will work or not let's try first of all there might be some issue with the code there might some be some else so just try to figure out and uh, hm is not fine because yeah it's not hm it's actually frequency so yeah uh, let's try to run it again and this time we are getting the answer as yes yes no yes yes so it's yes yes no no it should be one more no which is not here present uh, so why is it so uh, answer that pushback i dot second and then answer of 0 minus answer of is less than equal to 1 then it should be yes otherwise okay in the end it should be no instead of yes i guess few of you might have pointed out this before me and let's see again so yeah it's yes yes no no yes so we will try to submit the uh, solution it should work obviously uh on this try dot cpp so yeah let's try submitting this and you can see it is accepted so yeah this was about the first problem uh, now before the video ends or uh, we start the second problem uh, first of all I have recorded this video completely in English language because I have got a request in the last video that I should record all of my videos in English language 
now i want your opinion on this whether if you are if you have watched any of my previous video then should i continue in english or should i continue in hindi or as of today i have recorded it in english should i record in english next the problem b and c will be in, available in hindi language as of now but if you will uh, say that i need to i should record it in english language then the further contest will be recorded in english only so yeah you can you should comment about it because that will give me a feedback whether should i i should record my videos in english language or hindi language i am uh, comfortable in both the languages it will depend on you whether you what languages you are comfortable in so please comment about that uh, that's the first thing and uh, one more thing i was supposed to ask that should i do the uh, live coding or should i just show you the code as i used to do it earlier so both the things uh, if you are having suggestions about it that what do you like uh, please put down in the comments that will be beneficial for the channel uh, for channel to growth so yeah that was about it i hope you would have liked the session now we will meet in the second one